siku chache tu baada ya mtandao wa serikali wa e-citizen kudukuliwa na kundi la watu wanaojiita Anonymous Sudan basi hatua ambayo iliweza kusababisha kufeli kwa utoaji huduma za serikali pamoja na benki basi serikali inasema kwamba hakuna data yeyote iliyoweza kupotea waziri wa habari na teknolojia Ludwalo amesema serikali imeweka mikakati ya kutosha kukabiliana na udukuzo wote wa mitandao mbalimbali huko nchini inayotoa huduma za serikali na haswa e-citizen yenye huduma zaidi ya elfu tano za serikali is to ensure that within our digitalization agenda we are also ensuring adequate levels of both data privacy and data security. We have gone ahead also, ladies and gentlemen, to establish a multifaceted government team that on a continuous basis is undertaking or scanning the operational environment to be able to determine the patterns, because this is a global issue, the patterns of cyber security and what we need to do in a proactive manner to have an elaborate risk mitigation framework around our digitalization agenda. So we are on the right trajectory. And let me also, now that we are on this, reaffirm what I've stated before, that the recent incident that we had was not a case of hacking the e-citizen platform. It was a case of an attempted cyber attack. Hacking means you succeed illegally to get into a technological platform that does not belong to you for ill intentions or malicious intentions, and then you go there in and adulterate the data that is domiciled within that platform. That is not what happened. What happened is that there was an attempted attack on the e-citizen platform, among other platforms, including but not limited to those held in the hands of the private sector. But because we already had an elaborate risk mitigation framework uh, around that space, it was unsuccessful. So I want to assure Kenyans that the data that is held by government on their behalf is secure, that incident did not lead to any infringement of the personal data of Kenyans. So the privacy and security of the data in position of government is very much upheld. And apart from ensuring that we address that challenge, that incident which we have fully addressed, we have now reverted back to optimal capacity utilization levels as far as the services on the e-citizen platform is concerned. We have gone ahead to ensure that moving forward, we have got an elaborate risk mitigation framework around our digitalization agenda. So we are going the full hog. We are going to pursue this to a logical conclusion, ladies and gentlemen.